So we have a lot of stuff to cover in today's update. And although we are going to be taking a trip once again to the other side of the world, to the huge, giant, powerful country of China, which is where I also have roots in. So you are going to be hearing someone that has some level of origin there. The big idea is that what's going on there right now is potentially going to now impact almost everyone around the world, including a lot of us, including me, here in the United States. So hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another video. So the big idea is that in today's update, as just mentioned, is I want to talk a little bit about the China's economic collapse situation that you might have already seen videos about, but I want to give a brand new update to talk about several events that have now just officially resurfaced over there and how this can potentially impact us. There are now things related to the pandemic that has arisen once again over there. And interestingly, we are also going to talk about something that is a massive blast from the past now, but that also happens to be about the premise of this channel. Well, one of the premises that, you know, this channel started in, and it's going to be about stimulus. So stimulus is something that interestingly is going to be mentioned in today's update. So if all of that stuff is interesting and you're interested in hearing about why this is important for us, definitely stay through. So with that being said, we are going to get started. But as always, real fast, before we begin, remember to smash the like button if you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this or you can watch to the end to decide, but it is greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for similar videos like this and especially as we get more information about this, what's going on in America or even just about financial topics in general because I know there are a lot of people that are still going through difficult times, including in China, but even back here in the States. And again, about why this is going to potentially impact everyone now all going forward. And of course, as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly, just really anything, maybe about what you think about this situation. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So maybe as a really, really quick 30 second refresher about one of the last updates, although you can really watch this in any order because they cover two different areas. But in one of the last updates, which I'm going to put the video at the very, very end screen, we talked a lot about the real estate situation, the bubble that's happening in China on top of sharing some of the cultural reasons that I don't think a lot of other channels have been talking about, about why what's happening there is happening there right now. So definitely highly recommend checking that out at the very, very end screen if you guys haven't done so. But the new information to share really is that what's going on in China right now is that first off is that they're currently undergoing what they're currently calling a zero pandemic policy. So what this essentially is, is, is that essentially right now at this current time, if you remember a lot of the stuff that we went through and why it was so difficult back then when the pandemic started, it was because people were being forced to stay at home, businesses were shutting down, jobs were being impacted, everything from all over the place, health, everything from a social, financial, economic, and even on a personal and a health basis, mental and physical health was being impacted. Well, all of this stuff that we had to undergo, China is now undergoing again. Because the big idea is that they've now recently just resurfaced and increased the strictness once again of a lot of the stuff that was happening there. So if some reasonable group of people was to catch the pandemic in China, the entire city was going to be potentially set to lock down. That's why right now over there, we have about several tens of millions of people that are now going through some lockdown in some way. They're going through restrictions where they're staying home. They're, you know, forced to just limit activities. They, you know, things are not opened as regularly. Restaurants have been limited in what they can possibly do. So because of that reason, as you can mostly imagine, is that when that happened to us, we had a very, very massive slow economy that ended up impacting us. And so what what's going on there now is the same story or a very, very similar story where they're now undergoing that, but once again for another round. I wanted to say round two, but at this point, it's such a vague line because we've had so many cases of like locking down, opening, locking down, opening that we don't really know what number at this point, but just know is, is that even to this day, two years, more than two years later, that's what's pretty much happening now over there. And what this means is, is that it's expected that the economy over there is probably going to sadly slow down even more. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to be struggling even harder. So if you are in the States and it's currently struggling in some way, just know is that there are a lot of other people in other countries that have it 
even more rougher, as sad as it is to think. And we're going to explain about why this might potentially impact us as well. But interestingly, one of the things they are doing right now to try to combat a lot of that is going to be related to the thing that we had to do, which is stimulus. Because the big idea right now is that in China is that they're currently now working on their own version of another stimulus package in order to try to help the economy over there. Now, one of the biggest differences is that in the United States, when we went through a lot of stimulus programs, we did have a lot of things like checks, unemployment, so uh, just you know all sorts of different programs come up, child tax credit. Over there, however, a lot of the stimulus programs, I will admit that they are doing over there, is really meant to help both the governors and the businesses. So essentially things on a very, very huge, larger scale level. For us, it was a little bit of a balance, some stuff benefiting the government, some stuff benefiting us on a personal level. Over there, it's very, very focused on the government. But I figured that it's still relatively important to share because the idea is, is that the more they do stimulus programs over there, it also means that they're even more rampant. A lot of the things like the inflation stuff that we went through as a just as a aftermath of what we had to do is now potentially only going to get even worse over there. So this is something that's now going to add to it even further than what they're already currently going through. So from the real estate to the pandemic, to the stimulus situation, to the lockdown, that's all happening there right now. Now, how does this actually impact us and why should this really matter is because at the end of the day, kind of like what we mentioned in one of the last, one of the older videos before, is that a lot of the things that we do over here in the States really does rely on a lot of the things that happen in China. And I've mentioned this before, but just think about how many things are made in China. That is the most perfect example. So if the country that we are getting our goods, if the country that we are relying on things being made there because of a lot of the cheaper costs, labor, supplies, everything like that is now being impacted, it is very possible that this might now potentially impact our own supply chain. Now, there are a lot of talks about why a lot of people in the United States really believes, and feel free to share your particular opinion about this. But there's a lot of people in the States that really believe that we should try to stop outsourcing a lot of the things that we do and try to create more in-country production. So basically make more of the stuff that we have, produce more of it. This is a very complicated topic, so there isn't really a true black and white answer. The real reason why is that one of the reasons it's difficult to do, it's much easier to say it, but very difficult to do it, is because a lot of the things in the States are a lot more expensive. So when you have a lot of businesses that are now struggling with profit margin, you can only imagine, and this is maybe a topic for another day, but you can only imagine that if they were to increase or to do more of the production in-house, it also means that a lot of the cost are potentially now going to start to go up again. And if this goes up again, it's also going to potentially impact the inflation in the US, which means that because because businesses have to pay more in order to survive, they also now have to charge more for a lot of the things that they do, their services, their goods, their products. And we are already starting to see so many things that are going up in prices. So if what happens over there gets even worse, potentially now the rest of the world that relies on China for their services and products and everything is also going to be impacted right now as well. But of course, all of this stuff, we just have to see what they, as in they, as in what China ultimately ends up deciding to do, objectively speaking. And I think that that's one of the most important, most highly anticipated information that many of us have to really just understand and that we're waiting for right now at this current time. But of course, what they end up doing, will they end up easing a lot of their pandemic lockdown situations, what they're going to do about their own stimulus programs, how this is going to translate to what's happening in the US, what are we going to do on our own level and our own country. All of this stuff we probably have to find out in another future episode of this Kevin show. So with that being said, if you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys, you know, feel free to share any comments, questions, personal thoughts, consider subscribing. Remember to smash the like button if you guys hopefully enjoyed that and haven't done so. Of course, again, you guys can decide or comment a suggestion if needed. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay safe, stay well, and to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.